Pleasant, good morning, everyone. I am very excited to be one of your presenters, one of your speakers for this amazing conference, for this amazing conversation, for this amazing opportunity for us to learn and to unlearn and to grow and to just be there for each other in this conference. And so I am very excited to be here, like I said before, and um, my name is Dr. Andrew B. Campbell, AKA Dr. ABC. And like I said before, again, I wanna say how excited I am to be here to share into this conversation, flourishing in all our identities. I love this topic flourishing in all our identities and making sure that we know as a school, we know as a class, we know as a board, we know as a group that we are not alone. And you know, I want you to begin by turning to someone beside you and say, hey, you are not alone. Turn to somebody else and say, hey, you are not alone. It's very important we do that to affirm each other. And then I want you to turn to yourself. Oh yes, oh yes. Speak to yourself and say, I am not alone. This is very important for us to affirm ourselves and to affirm each other. I want us to understand that. So as we begin, I'm gonna start by this beautiful, um, just amazing colors, pop of colors, uh, but a quote. Uh, that I'm so much in love with by the great Maya Angelou. And if you don't know who Maya Angelou is, this is an opportunity for you to do some class research, do a little Google and find out who is this great woman, Maya Angelou, that speaks, she's a great poet, um, civil rights activist, and someone who has done so much, so much in activism, in activism. And so I wanna start with this quote, and she says, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. And to do so with some compassion, do so with some passion, sorry, some compassion, some humor, and some style. We have to learn that's the importance. That's why I say I love your theme of surviving. I love your theme of thriving. I love your theme of flourishing and there are different levels. And so I want to talk a little bit before about the word survive. And in the 2S LGBTQIAA plus community, we have always learned how to survive. We have always had to survive. We have always had to fight to survive and push to survive and to be seen and to be heard. And so having this conference, having some conversations about how do we flourish is very important because surviving is different from flourishing. We want to talk about flourishing, but before we get there, I want to talk about surviving. And many of us, you know, who identify as LGBTQIA plus individuals, we have had so much that we have had to survive. I want to share with you that growing up in Jamaica, because I'm from Jamaica, originally I'm from Jamaica, um, but I moved to Canada in 2008. So I am a Jamaican. I have a beautiful accent. I'm sure you heard my accent. I am an immigrant. I am gay. I am also Christian background. I am consider my, my pronouns are he and him. I am somebody's son. I am somebody's uncle. I am somebody's teacher. I am somebody's friend. And I say that to you for a reason. We're gonna come back to this later on, but I want you to realize when you see someone and they identify as 2S LGBTQIA+, don't just look at them as, oh, oh, he's gay. Oh, she's queer. Oh, that person's transgender. Oh, that person is questioning. Oh, that person is um, 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 queer. Oh, he's also gay. It's more than that. It's all our identities and the intersections 
of our identity. I have a funny feeling you're going to hear more about that word within my conversation and with your other presenters about the term intersections, right? But let me go back to my story. Growing up in Jamaica, you know, I was very effeminate, you know, and so, you know, I remember in grade seven, the many ways I had to work, learn to survive. You know, I had to survive the bullies. I had to survive name calling. You know, I had to survive some whispers and some stares at me like, ew. You know, I had to survive not being included. I had to survive not being given certain opportunities, not being, you know, people having friends that want to play with you or certain things, not being invited to certain parties. I have had to survive that. And I'm sure you're going to say, yay, Dr. ABC, you survived. But I want to ask you all a question. I want everybody to look at me, look at me carefully. Do we want people to survive or do we want people to flourish, to grow, to be themselves, to, to be loved and respected and appreciated? That is what this conference is about, you know. I know some person who say, oh, we're going to talk about 2SLGBTQIA+. Ooh. But what we're really talking about is love, respect, kindness, friendship, allyship. Those are the words I want you to center. Those are the words I want you to be, to, to be buzzing today. Kindness, friendship, honesty, allyship. Love, respect, those are the words that say to somebody, you are not alone. Those are the, I call those the you are not alone words. So for me, those are the you are not alone words. Those words for me are the you are not alone words. So I want you to think about that as we have this conversation, as we are doing this, this, this conversation. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to know that we survive. And it's great to know that many of you are surviving, but we don't want that. We want flourishing. We want next level. We want next level and next level is flourishing. And so if you remember the beginning, I, I shared a picture on the cover and I wanna share it again. So that picture there for me is flourishing. I want you to notice just how the hands are cupped. It's careful. It's tender. Mm. It's, it's carrying something and others with a level of love and kindness and tenderness that is needed. When I remember when I was in grade seven and grade eight or grade four, even grade three, and I was being teased, you are a sissy, you are a sissy. And so I was being teased. What I wish was that someone would have been more kinder to me, more tender to me. I wish somebody was more my friend. I wish I had people who would stand up to the bullies for me. That's what it's about. When you say to your friends and your classmates and people with different kinds of identities and different pronouns and different looks and different styles and different outlooks on life, that you are not alone. How do we say that? So I'm gonna tell you something quickly. I looked in the dictionary, of course, that's me, duh. And I said, let me find some words that really, really stands out to me for the word flourish. So get ready, everybody. Get ready, everyone, to listen to the words that popped out at me when I thought of flourish. So when I thought of flourish, words that popped out at me were words like grow, Easy one, right? Mm, very matter of fact, right? Grow. And then I heard words like thrive, words like prosper, words like do well, words like develop, increase, spring up. Oh, I love that one. Spring up. Whoa. Shoot up. Oh, here's one I love. Bloom. <laughs> Imagine if we were able to just bloom. Bear fruit, blossom, burst forth. <laughs> I love these words. Swag, 
twirl, swish, display, exhibit, parade, even show off. Imagine if we were allowed to flourish. Ask yourself, if we allow each other to flourish, what, am sorry, what amazing place school would be. Because if we allow each other to flourish, we wouldn't have children who are scared of school, who, who, who feel unsafe, who are feeling ashamed of themselves, who are scared to tell you the truth about themselves. I remember how many persons I know in high school. So I'm going to speak to all of you high school students right now. So many people in high school who was ashamed and afraid to say who they truly were who they truly were. They were afraid, they were ashamed because people did not allow them to flourish. So I want you to ask yourself, how can I as a student, not as a teacher, I wanna to talk to students first. How can I as a student work to ensure my fellow classmates, my fellow students flourish, whoever they are, whether they are black or they're white or they're racialized, they're, they're, they're hijab wearing Muslim, they are immigrants, they are refugees, whatever identities they are on the 2S LGBTQIA plus spectrum, whatever they are, whoever they are, however they define themselves, your job is how will I help them to flourish? Ask yourself that. How can I help someone to flourish? And then teachers, I want to talk to teachers. So I want all the students who are listening to me, I want you to look in the direction of your teacher. Look in the direction of your teacher. You're not going to say anything, just look in the direction, right? And I'm going to ask the question, teachers, teachers, how will you help your students from various identities to flourish? That's a question for all of us. But I'm not going to stop there. The principal, the vice principal, if you're in the room, in the space, I want you to look in the direction of your principal or your vice principal. And as we ask the question, look at them. As I ask, how will we help our students in our school to flourish? And so I want to take you back to my slides. And there is something called Ida Hot, right? Ida Art is the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia. Very, very, it happens May the 17th. So coming up soon, May the 17th. And I want to show you the flyer. So what I'm going to show you is just the flyer, the poster of the last three years, or the last two years and 2022, for you to see the theme. So what we're going to do, we're going to explore the themes because your theme is flourishing, right? Your theme is about flourishing. That's your theme. I wanna show you the themes and I want you to see the common thread. I wanna show you the themes in the last three years. So in 2020, in 2020, the theme for Ida Hot was breaking the silence. Let me tell you this. You cannot flourish if you are forced into silence. You cannot flourish if you are ashamed to speak. You cannot flourish if you feel unsafe to speak. You cannot flourish if you are scared of your, your voice. You're scared of everything. You're scared of sharing. And so you keep that in. And when you keep that in, you hurt. There are many students who are hurting because they are forced into silence. Is that what we want in our school? Is that what we want in our classrooms? That some of our students are forced into silence? What we want to do is break the silence. And that's why I want to show you this one. And last year, 2021, the theme was together resisting, supporting, healing. Oh, I love this theme. I love this theme. If all of us would commit to supporting each other, 
we'd have an amazing school, you know. We'd have an amazing school. If all of us was really intentional about how do I support my fellow classmate, we'll have an amazing classroom, an amazing school. If you notice everybody's wearing masks because it's during the pandemic, it's just 2021. I want you to notice the identities. I want you to notice the colors. I love this artist who created this. I want you to notice together, resisting, supporting, and healing. Ask yourself, how will I do that? And then the last one is this year's own, 2022. And this is for 2022. And 2022 theme is our bodies, our lives, our rights. To asking people to live their best life, giving people space to live, being kind, sharing, allowing people to show up as themselves, to have their various identities and not to challenge and push them down, but to welcome and to get to know them. Get to know them because we have various kinds of identities. You don't get to tell me my identity. You allow me to share my identity with you. Are we doing that? Are we allowing people to share their identity? But we wanna talk especially about persons who are racialized, right? Because this quote comes to us from Layden, um, Gloria Layden Billings. And she said, we enter the society race because I know people like to say, oh, well, we are not going to talk about race. We are all the same. You know, don't, yeah, we are different in many ways. And I want us to realize the difference is beautiful for us to celebrate the differences. So for many of us, like myself, I am Black. My identity is I'm Black, right? So I am raced. And it says we enter the society raced. We come to school raced. We apply for jobs race. We enter the marketplace race. We cannot leave our race at home or on a shelf. And so because of that, we are playing with a social construct. And I know your teachers may talk to you about that more in the future. Some of you have already had an amazing conversation about that. And how we find ways to live our lives, see, live our lives and participate in society with one aspect of our identity that seems to enter the room before we do. It's about who we are. So I'm very happy to see that we are having this kind of conversation about the various identities within the 2S LGBTQIA plus community. I'm very happy we're having this kind of conversation because I'm gonna tell you something. One size does not fit all. One size does not fit all. We have various differences, various identities, various nationality, various religion, various how we identify ourselves when it comes to our gender and our sexual orientation and our age and our experiences. You know, as I said it earlier, I am not just one thing or one aspect to me. There are many aspects to me. Get to know each other. Spend quality time learning each other. And you can do that by two words I love. Love, 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 love. Actually, they're supposed to be three words. I don't know where one of my words is gone. One of my words seems to be missing. Oh, it's on the next slide. Ta-da! <laughs> because that word on the next slide is allyship. We have to start there. Allyship, real allyship. But I love this word, advocacy and actions. So, let us take a minute to think, what will be my actions? What will be my actions to help each other to flourish? Am I going to be a bully? Because you get that choice, you know. You get that choice. Am I going to be a bully or am I going to be an ally? Am I going to be dishonest? Am I going to be an ally? Am I going to be someone who calls people names and use racial slurs? It's happening in schools. Let me tell you, it's happening in schools. Some of us are doing it and it's wrong. I want to tell you right now, stop it. Oh yes, I did say that. I said, stop it. Stop the name calling. Stop the bullying. Stop it. 
Stop using racial slurs and LGBTQ negative terminologies and slurs. Stop it. Stop it. And if you know someone who is doing it, you are supposed to be responsible. Be that ally and say, that is not nice. That is not right. Stop it. And that is not what you say to someone if you want them to flourish. Oh, I am calling you to be an advocate. I am calling every one of you, even those in grade one. When you see somebody saying the wrong thing to someone, somebody being a bully, you said, stop it. Stop that. That is not flourishing. That is harmful. That is hurtful. Yes, absolutely yes. So we want to make sure we all are, are standing in the space where we all respect each other and understand that we have to take actions and be an ally and be, take action, be an advocate, be an ally. Say to someone that I trust, I support you, I respect you, I appreciate you. And I'm going to end you with this. I'm going to end, sorry, with this acoustic. And I'm going to encourage you to make your own, okay? So everybody, even those in grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, grade six, grade seven, grade eight, grade nine, grade 10, 11, and 12. Oh, I was just dancing. Sorry, that's me. You know me, I get carried away in the excitement of it all. <laughs> because you know what? I'm going to tell you something. A part of flourishing is joy. A part of flourishing is that joy. If you have no joy, you're dried up. And sometimes we have been mean to each other and we have really impacted each other's joy. We have impacted each other's joy in such a way that people are dried up. They can't flourish. They are dried up. I don't want to be dried up. I want to be flourishing. So I want you to follow what I'm going to do and you can do your own. And if you do your own, give it to your teacher. I would love for some of your teachers to send me a copy so I could share on my social media. Absolutely. Of how people flourish. So number FF, friendships. Think about your friendships. You have to be a friend to someone. Be that friend. Be that friend. Be that friend. Be that friend. That's what I have to say. Friendships. Be a real, true friend. Love yourself. Oh, oh, self-love. You must love yourself. I want you to learn that more. Love yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I am gorgeous. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am amazing. I am excellent. Or like me, I'm super qualified with espialidocious. <laughs> you have to love yourself. I want you to love yourself just as you are. I want you to love yourself just as you are, right? I want you to, to, to open to learn and grow. Oh, well, I don't want to learn anything about anybody's pronoun because I don't, no, 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 no. Stop that foolishness. Nope. Learn to open and grow. Be open so you can learn and grow. That's why we're at school. That's why we're at school to learn and grow. Teachers have to learn and grow. Oh, excuse me? Absolutely. If you're a teacher and you're not learning and growing, I don't think you're a good teacher. Oh, I said it. I said it. I think the best teachers are the ones who are learning and growing as well. Understand others. Take the time to ask questions. Hey, Mr. Campbell, I like your accent. Where's an accent from? Get to understand me, right? Get to understand each other. Understand each other. Learn each other. Ask good questions, right? Rescue and renew others. Protect each other. Protect, protect sorry, each other. Renew each other. Those are some new words for some of you in, 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 in grade two and grade three. Maybe those are some new words for you. Rescue it. You know, be an ally. Stand up for each other. Inspire each other. And I want you to survive. Oh, Dr. ABC, you came back with that word, survive. Because the truth is, many of us, the only way we're going to flourish is if we end up surviving. So I want us to survive as well as we flourish. And I want you to hold and honor each other. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for having me. Make sure you do your own. Make sure you do your own. Make sure you do your own and put them all over the classroom. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for having me. I want to wish you all an amazing day in listening to the other speakers. 
engage in discussion with your teachers and just when you go outside in the in the in the in the for your recess or your your whatever your break your lunch break i want you to make sure you think about what can i do to ensure my friends flourish thank you so much for having me it's a pleasure have a wonderful day